All right, lesson 94, uniform motion problems of a different form than what we did before. Now, uniform motion problems are one of the hardest types of problems that we're going to do in Algebra 1, and we're going to redo them again in Algebra 2, and oftentimes they become more clear then. So, we are going to start by reviewing a problem from last week, just in case you didn't get it last week. The main thing you have to keep in mind with distance problems is this formula, distance equals rate times time. These are, the first ones are equal distance problems and we always start by drawing ourselves a little picture. So we have a distance from here to here. And Nett drove to Shawnee in four hours. So we're going to start here. Here she starts. She's going to drive to Shawnee. And so this is the distance um, we can call it to Shawnee. So we'll call it distance to Shawnee. And then she drove back this direction home. So we'll call this one distance home. Now the thing with equal distance problems is you can see that the distance there is equal to the distance back. So after you draw your picture, first you're going to draw your picture draw a picture. Then set your distances equal to each other. Distance to shiny equals the distance home. Okay, that's the second thing. Do your distance equals distance equation. The third thing you're going to do is translate your distance is equal to rate times time. So the distance to shiny is the same as the rate to shiny time to shiny your distance home, distance is rate times time, it's the rate home, time home. So the next thing you're going to do is what I call translate. You're going to change distance into rate times time. So everybody should be able to do that without any trouble. So you draw your picture, set your distances equal to each other, Translate instead of having distance. Distance is equal to rate times time, so write it out rate times time, rate times time. Now, this is your first equation. Now, we have one, two, three, four variables, so we need at least three of those variables. We need four equations to be able to solve this. We need as many equations as you have variables. So, in the set, next thing we're going to do is get equations. We need three more equations in order to solve this thing. And we did a lot of these subscripted variable problems in the past few weeks to get us ready for this. So let's go get some more information. She drove to Shawnee in four hours. So that is our time to Shawnee. So that's going to be our next equation. Time to Shawnee equals four. She drove back and that we call that home. I did that. Time home is equal to 3. So now we have 1, 2, 3 equations. We still have 4 unknowns, so we need one more equation. Equation, And it says, what were her speeds? Speeds are the same thing as rate. What was her rate? If her rate coming back, so rate home is equal to her rate to Shawnee, plus 11. It was 11 miles greater than our speed um, going. So there we go. We have our four equations, and then we're just going to use our substitution. We're going to put it back into this equation. So the next thing is you're going you're to do is just substitute. So let's do some quick substitutions here. So we have our rate. We don't have that solved here. We have, we have Time at TS, TH, RH. We don't have an RS, but we have the TS. So I'm going to put 4 RS. I did not leave myself enough room to do this problem. Um, TS, okay, we don't know. We know TS is 4. We don't know RS, so we use this one. Remember how we did this before? And then we go to do this side. Um, RH is RS plus 11. And our, so we need the RH1, and we substitute in for RH. Now we just need TH is 3. So I put 3 there. 
and we just solve it for the one variable. Now we have one equation with one unknown. So we get 4RS equals 3RS plus 33. I could subtract 3RS from both sides, so we get RS equals 33. They want to know the speed going, which is the speed to shiny, so you have to put units on it, miles per hour, and that's your final answer. Now, don't mean to make this too complicated, but we're going on to a different type of problem, and I probably didn't leave enough room for this. So I'm going to jump over here for a second. So, there's different types of problems. The first type that we did, the first type, type 1, was equal distances, where distance 1 equals distance 2. Type 2 problem that we're going to do, we're going to do several of these types, is distance 1 plus distance 2 is going to equal a given distance. And that's the type we're going to do today. They're going to tell us that there's a distance. They're going to give us this distance. That's going to be n. And they're going to say this distance, distance 1 plus distance 2 is going to equal the full distance. Or they could also have these kind where they crash like that. So distance 1 and distance 2 is still going to equal n. Or, these are all the same type of problem. Oops, I didn't put that in there yet. Or you have a distance and they go away from each other. They start at the same point and they go away from each other. So distance 1 and distance 2, they're going to say how far is it when it's n miles apart. So those are the three types of problems we're going to do with these um, distance 1 plus distance 2 equals n. And you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to write your problem distance 1 plus distance 2 equals n and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to translate. We're going to do rate 1 time 1 plus rate 2 time 2 equals n. And then we're going to find our four equations and substitute. So the main thing you need to know is whether you have equal distances or whether the distances add up to a given number. So let's give these a whirl. So, first thing you're going to do, draw your picture. A southbound train bus left for Fort Washington at 9 a.m. Two hours later, a northbound bus left the same station. If the buses, tr buses traveled the same rate and were 352 kilometers apart at 2 p.m., find the rate of the bus. So they're starting at the same station. One's going south, so this would be distance south, and this would be our distance north. Remember the first step is to write, draw a picture. And the total distance here is going to be, where is that, 352 kilometers. Draw your picture. Next thing, write your equation. Distance south plus distance north equals 352. These aren't equal distances. The two distances add up to a given distance that they'll give you. Now translate. Rate south, time south, plus rate north, time north, equals 352. Just remember, distance equals rate times time, so we're replacing the distance with rate times time. We have one equation, four unknowns, we need to get three more equations. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Um, it says that they they traveled at the same rate. There's some really tricky things in here. They traveled at the same rate. So we know that rate south equals rate north. And what else do we know here? We know... Um, time. Okay, they, the southbound bus left at 9 a.m. Two hours later, a northbound bus left the same station. Okay, so this guy, this one going south, so the time south, he started at 9 and he got there at 2. 
So that would be 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So his time is 5 hours. The north one left 2 hours later. So his time is 3 hours. Now all we have to do is go back and substitute these in and solve it. So we have our 1, 2, 3, 4 equations with our 4 unknown. This is our base equation, so we're substituting. You can choose to leave either RS or RN in. We'll just leave RS in. So we get RS. TS is 5. I'm going to put it in front just because we always put our number, our coefficient, in front of the variable. Now I'm going to this one. RN. Well, we don't want to have two variables. And since RN is equal to RS and we already left RS in, we're going to call it RS. TN is 3. And we get 352. Hopefully I understand this. RS and RN are the same. So I can just go and take that RN out and put RS in there. And that's how I got the RS. So we get 8RS equals 352. We divide by 8. We get RS equals 44. And I should have left RN in because they want to know the rate of, well, they want to know the rate of both buses. So the rate of the north south bus is 44 miles per hour, or kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. And the rates are the same, so it doesn't really matter. So the rate of the north and the south is 44 kilometers per hour. Alright, I hope this video doesn't last the rest of the day. Um, let's try the next one. A train starts from Toledo at 11 a.m. and heads for Mackinaw, 332 miles away. At the same time, a train leaves Mackinaw, Mackinaw, and heads for Toledo at 65 kilometers per hour. If the trains meet at 1, what was the rate of the first train? First step, draw your picture. Okay, they're starting from different directions this time. We have a train going this way and this way. So we need to have um, we have to have variables for these guys. Uh, let's just call this one distance Toledo, since leaving Toledo, and this one distance Mackinac. And we know that the total distance is 332 kilometers. So distance Toledo plus distance Mackinac equals 332. Rate Toledo time Toledo plus rate Mackintosh time Mackintosh equals 332. Now we need to get our other three equations. So let's see. It starts at 11 and they hit at 1. They're both starting at the same time, so that's two hours. So time Toledo and the time equals 2 time Mackinac equals 2, and we just need rate. Um, the same thing about rate. Um, Mackinac, rate Mackinac equals 65. Um, hopefully I have those two right. Yeah. Okay, let's plug them in now. So, we're going to use this equation. Rate, we don't have rate Toledo, so, but we have time Toledo, so 2 rate Toledo plus uh, 2 times 64. It's actually 65, isn't it? 65, I don't know, 64. 65. Um, equals 332, and then we just solve it. 2 rate times Toledo equals 3, this would be 130. Then we subtract it from 332 and we get 202. Rate Toledo equals 101 kilometers per hour. Let's do one more real quick. Alright, the ships were 400 miles apart, so here's our drawing. They're 400 miles apart. They were heading directly towards each other. Ooh, we're having a crash situation here. Ouch. Um, 
If they collided at 8 a.m., find the speeds of those ships if one was 20 miles per hour faster than the other. So this is the distance of the faster, distance of the slower. It doesn't have to be that way, you could change them. So we know that the distance of the faster plus the distance of the slower equals 400. Second step, write the equation. Third step, translate. Rate faster um, time faster plus rate slower times slower equals 400. Get your other three equations. Alright, let's see what we got here. If they collided, they were 400 miles apart at midnight, they collided at 8. So their times are the same. The time of the faster equals 8. Time of the slower equals 8. And finally we need the rate. The rate of the faster was the rate of the slower plus 20. 20 faster than the slower one. We just plug everything in. Rate of the faster is 8. I mean rate of the faster. We don't have that by 8. The rate of the faster would be this. So it would be rate of the slower plus 20 times the time of the faster is 8. I'm going to take that times 8 plus rate of the slower. We're going to leave that variable in. Time of the slower is 8 equals 400. Distribute 8 rate of the slower plus 160 plus 8 rate of the slower equals 400. 16 rate of the slower. I'm going to subtract 160 from both sides and get 240. So the rate of the slower ship was 15 miles per hour. And we just have to go and get the rate of the faster slip ship. The faster ship was 20 miles more right here. Faster was 20 more than the slower. So the rate of the faster ship would be 35 miles per hour. So give those a whirl, you know, get as many steps as you can. I don't accept any blanks on your page. You should be able to at least get up to here, steps one, two, and three. So hopefully this makes sense to you. You can even go back and watch the video if you want. Okay, that's it for lesson 94.